Jack Frost awakens from a frozen pond with amnesia. Upon realizing that no one can see or hear him, he disappears. 300 years later, Jack, as the young spirit of winter, enjoys delivering snow days to school kids, but is upset that they do not believe in him. At the North Pole, the man in the moon warns Nicholas St. North that pitch black is threatened. In the children of the world with his nightmares, he calls the Aster Bunny and Bunny, the Sandman, and the Tooth Fairy to arms. They are told that Jack Frost has been chosen to be a new guardian, and Bunny brings him to the North Pole. North explains to Jack that every guardian has a center, something they are the guardian of, but a call for help from Tooth's fairies ends the conversation. Visiting Tooth's world, which resembles a palace in India, Jack learns that each and every baby tooth contains childhood memories of the children who lost it, Jack's teeth included. However, Pitch raids Tooth's home, kidnapping all of her subordinate tooth fairies except baby tooth and stealing all the teeth, thus preventing Tooth from sharing Jack's memories and weakening children's belief in her. In order to thwart Pitch's plan, the group decides to collect children's teeth. During their journey, a quarrel between North and Bunny awakens a boy, Jamie. Since he still believes, he can see everybody except for Jack. Pitcher's nightmares then attack, provoking Sandy as the guardian of dreams. Jack tries to intervene, but Pitch overwhelms Sandy, who seemingly disappears. As Easter approaches, the dejected guardians gather in Bunny's home. With the unexpected aid of Jimmy's little sister, Sophie, they begin the process of painting eggs for Easter. After Jack takes Sophie home, he is lured to Pitch's lair by a voice. Pitch taunts him with his memories and fear of non-belief, distracting him long enough for Pitch to destroy the eggs, causing children to stop believing in Bunny, who furiously berates Jack. With the Guardian's trust in him lost, ashamed Jack isolates himself in Antarctica, where Pitch tries to convince him to join his side. When Jack refuses, Pitch threatens to kill Baby Tooth unless Jack gives him his staff. The source of his magic. He agrees, but Pitch breaks Jack's staff and throws him down a chasm. Unlocking his memories inside his teeth, he learns that he was a mort. A teenager who sacrificed himself to save his younger sister, dying from hypothermia and drowning. Inspired, Jack repairs his staff and returns to the lair to rescue the kidnapped tooth fairies. Due to Pitch, every child in the world except Jamie disbelieves, drastically weakening the guardians. Finding Jimmy's belief wavering, Jack makes it snow in his room, renewing Jimmy's belief and letting him become the first person to ever believe in and see Jack. They gather Jimmy's friends, whose renewed belief bolsters their fight against Pitch. He threatens them, but their dreams prove stronger than his nightmares resulting in Sunday's resurrection and the Guardians reuniting. Defeated and no longer believed in, Pitch tries to retreat, but his nightmares, sensing his own fears, turn on him and drag him to the underworld. Afterwards, Jimmy and his friends bid goodbye to the Guardians as Jack accepts his place as the Guardian of Fun.